foul creatures really are everywhere! Doesn't look like there's anything left alive here that can talk. It's over for them. These foul creatures really are everywhere! There's no doubt it was those shadow beasts. Poor bastard. Stay there. Have you seen my golden brooch? No. Not that I know of. Damn! I was sure that it's here somewhere. Wait a minute. You stole it, didn't you? Give it back before I flay you alive. There is no gold in this place. Ha! <laughs> and what is this? Uh, just a moment. Where's my purse? Just a moment ago, it was... Get out of my way. I have to get out of here as quickly as possible. Wait.
accursed shadow demon. Come here, foul creature! That demonic creature isn't ever getting up again. A dead beast. Shadows have depopulated the entire mine. I better be quick, otherwise there'll be nobody left on this island.
Is there a problem? Tom is all mad. Hey there, short ass. A lopo di paga noopsie. Yeah, well, whatever. No? You don't understand nothing? Good. That's because me no monolith stone. All gone. Cassie no longer have stone. You don't be bashing Kumpo Gun. Ooh. It's all right, I understand. You no longer have the stones, I get it. Yip yip. Monolith stones. I should tell the mage responsible about this little chap here. Ah, new homie in the camp. <laughs> Abbas knows them all. Abbas remembers when only fields and trees were here. But I like it better as it is now. Do you know any stories about Tyrannus? Yep, homie. We gnomes here before mages. When mages arrived, they offered deal. They give us gold, and we work for them. If Homie has gold, Abbas can sell dinghy, or tell stories. What do you actually do here? Abbas is elder of the gnomes, watches over them, and gathers shiny stones for mages. Sadly. Abbas lost Lamy. He was hardest working gnome of all. Then I'll keep an eye out for Lamy. Famo, homie. Looky, looky. What do you sell? Cookie, looky. Tell me something. What's so special about the crystals? Yep, homie. Mages want shiny stones from Kava, from the mines. Gunu, help. There are many Kavas here on the island of crystals. And because we many Gnu, we bring many shiny stones. The homies need many to build big stone circle on the bridge. That's how you do it. Aim higher, right at it. One day, Ali will become great guardian. Yip, yip. One more thing about the mines. Yes? The Western mine is safe again. But it will need more men. Good. I'll instruct Cox to get the mine operational again. It may not be the best of news, but thank you for the information. The northern mine will deliver as expected. Good. I was starting to worry. I wasn't sure about trusting Valamir with such an important task. I know exactly what you mean. 
If you say it's fine, I'll believe you. Thanks for the news. The delivery has arrived from the mine. Oh, which of the lads here got it? I did. Right. Hmm. Oh well, good work, I suppose. Take this as a reward for your service. I'll have to think very carefully about putting Frink in charge of the mine. Together we can do it! That was a tough fight! yourself. There. That 
was a tough fight. The goblins had a great mine here. Now we could actually mine the resources. Right there. It looks like, like someone here has diverted the water from the waterfall.
When I first joined the Mages, I liked coming here to relax. But today there's too much to do. No time for that. Oh, thank heavens. Another soul at last. I... I thought I was going to die here. You're one of Kjeld's friends, right? How do you know? He told me about the Shadow's attack on the fishing hut. Oh. Then you know. Please, you've got to get me out of here. Tell me more about the attack. It all happened so fast. I, I can't remember all the details. All I remember is the beast's eyes. I'm sorry that I can't tell you more. It's all right. I'll lead you to safety. Thanks. Please take me straight back to the Major's camp. And no shortcuts, okay? The rest of this island just isn't safe. The Mage's camp. I'm safe at last. I told you, you don't need to worry. Thanks. I'll never forget this. Yeah, 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 don't worry. One more thing about the mines. Yes? I discovered a new mine to the south. Ah, where exactly? Near the harbor. It was teeming with goblins. But not anymore. Ah, excellent. I knew there was still something of value down there. Well done. See Gaddy and tell him about the new mine. He's a gnome at the harbor. Tell him to take over the mine. The sooner the better. southern shore is a mine, and it's all cleared out now. A bunch of goblins had made a nest there. They must have been attracted by the crystals. Oh, shiny stones. Good thing then that goblin's dead. <laughs> now Gaddy can dig with other gnu. Majors always want stones. General Magnus will be proud that Gaddy digs a new mine. Yep. One more thing about the mines. Yes? Gaddy, the gnome from the harbor, is taking care of the new mine. That was quick. Well done. This is a huge step forward. Now you have all the reports from the mines. Yep, some are satisfactory, others less so. As always, we must work with what we have. Good work. I didn't think much of you at first, but let's just say that your performance has convinced me. What would be appropriate compensation for your service?
How would you feel about training me to be a guardian? Eh, uh, that requires some careful consideration. First, if you want to join our group, you cannot join any other groups. Second, you must renounce your former life. Third, as a guardian, you are bound by the rules of the camp while you are here. Fourth, you will have to swear an oath that binds you to our aims and ideals. And fifth, it goes without saying that you won't start as a fully-fledged guardian right away. You'll start as a cadet, just like everyone else. Are you ready to take the Guardian's oath? Swear me in. I want to be a Guardian. Slow down there. You're about to make an irreversible decision. Once you have sworn to serve the Guardians, there is no going back. This means no other faction will accept you into their midst. Are you certain you wish to become a Guardian? I'll think about it. Good. Don't make your decision until you're absolutely certain. Come on. Let me into the Great Hall of the Mages. I'll try not to get into any trouble. Very well. After all, you've done much for us. Go to them. But don't distract them too much from their work. Great. Shortass. Lammy looky in hole. Deep hole. Then he fall down. Now Lammy here. I understand. So you fell into the well. Shall I help you out? Oh no. Lammy must stay down here. Otherwise master see me. Not good. Not good at all. Where is your master? Lammy better keep that to himself. Or homie go to master and cause trouble for Lammy. Right. How long have you been down here? Rami not know. Mulo mulo mondi. Months? That's a long time. Yip yip. Let's talk about the things you didn't want to give me. Shiny stones? Wouldn't it be good if I could take a delivery from you to Abbas? Rami want to keep shiny stones. But I'm sure Abbas would appreciate a parting gift. Hmm. Okay. Homie can take some to Abbas.
Du Plesso! Scram! I don't want to see your sort anymore. We are starting out on something new. Something wonderful. Really? You'll see. Another step. You're not going to just saunter in here, are you? And what if I am? No way. General Magnus doesn't want anyone to disturb the mages. So without the General's permission, I'm not letting anyone in. Are we clear? I see. General Magnus asked me to speak to the mages. Oh, yeah? And I'm supposed to believe that. Do I have to get the General down here? Uh, no. Nah. Forget it, I believe you. For all I care, just go in if you want. Are you this friendly to everyone? You aren't responsible for the Major's safety. If anything goes wrong or goes missing, I'm the one who gets it in the neck. They don't pay me nearly enough for this shit. I'm sure you'll do fine. Not like I've got a choice. I thought being a guardian would make me rich and famous. I'd go out and do some heroic deeds, and everyone in the tavern would love me for it. Instead, I just hang about here, and every once in a while some cretin comes by and wants to compete with me. How about some arm wrestling? I knew it. <laughs> Haven't you got anything better to do? You scared? No way. I'll break your arm. But we'll only wrestle once, for gold. And the winner takes all. Just so you know, I'm only ever at the tavern until noon. If you want to wrestle later than that, you can forget it. I'm on duty then. I know nothing about crystal magic.
What? 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 Is someone there? Can I help you? Where in the world is my soap? Another bout for some of your crystals. Nice. But remember, there's no consolation prize if you lose. No strength in the arms, no crystals. So put your back into it and show me what you're made of. Too bad, but don't worry about it. I'm just too good. Just grab a pickaxe and work on the strength of your upper body. Zakir doesn't care that others are poor. The important thing is Zakir rich. Something smells funny here. Well, my friend, it must be me. Well, not from me, but from the gunpowder. Shotguns are my life. Shotguns, sounds good. Finally, someone who agrees. Most of the guys here just rely on their crystal gloves. I always say, what's better than a mage? A mage with a gun, of course. What do you think about the mages? Well, officially, they are, of course, the ones with the big plan. <laughs> They're building a contraption that's meant to save humanity from the Titans. But all I care about is getting paid. I don't care where it comes from, or what I have to do to earn it. What's your job with the Guardians? I'm in charge of maintenance and repair of the firearms. We don't have many, but I'm the only one who knows anything about them. That's also the reason why I don't have to slog my guts out in the mines, or play the washerwoman like Vetranio here. What's wrong with Vetranio? Ah, he's useless, like most of the new arrivals. He thought if he could conjure a few sparks, he'd be the biggest fish in the pond. But that's not how things work. If you've got no skills, you're worthless. Everyone has to start somewhere. You, maybe. Not me. I was always a talented artisan. I'm just following my calling. Listen, if you want to learn about firearms, I'm your man. 
I can take those things apart and put them back together so fast that your head will spin. Any advice you can give me on the way? Just one thing. Keep practicing. Take me, for example. Every morning I do target practice on the stand. Most people here think it's a waste of time, but I say it's worth it. Let's see what you've got. <laughs> 